Episode 2, Making a Good Plan. The path to making a good plan starts with understanding and mapping your demand flows. Let's first define a demand flow. Imagine demand as a river with many different currents or flows. The flow is usually faster in the middle of the river where it is deep and slower at the banks where it is shallow. When the river flows around rocks, there is turbulence, sometimes an eddy. The goal is to remove the rocks, avoid the dams, and drive clear insights. Similarly, companies have more than one demand flow in their supply chain management. These flows are based on the volatility of demand driving the forecastability of items. Not understanding that you have different flows and treating them as a monolith leads to a poor plan. In such a case, when all the demand flows are directed through a common engine and applied through a single policy, it compromises output and results in a loss of control. The organization becomes reactive, blind to how to take the right next steps. The supply strategies are a broad brush approach versus aligning the supply programs based on demand flow. Let's take an example. Here, we can see the impact of the pandemic lockdown on restaurant bookings in 2020 across the globe, which dramatically impacted the food and beverage distribution industry. This demand flow changed significantly and rapidly after the pandemic. See how history can be a bad predictor of demand? Reacting in time to these demand flow changes is paramount for business success. When demand flows are correctly identified, mapped, and managed, companies can achieve a good plan despite an uncertain world. The O9 platform is built on the GraphCube using nodes and edges, and the platform is excellent for flow categorization and visualization. We help companies to identify and forecast demand flows and to set and measure tangible improvements for each flow. With O9, you can achieve a good plan. In the next video, we will discuss how to identify and categorize demand flows.